everybody, I'm going to cut a brand new soap. Okay, this one is called the Promenade, and I made it yesterday. And it's a blend of cedarwood, bergamot essential oils with a wisteria fragrance. And it's the same scent as the Promenade products that we've got in the spring release. So I'm just going to cut my logs up. got inside. I'm showing you the base at the moment so you haven't seen the top yet. <laughs> wow. Okay, there's the top. And it's covered in chamomile and roses and then we've got a layer of soap shreds in the middle. I like. Get a nice clean cuts on these. I like them. I'm going to have to cut them on their side though in the cutter because of the top. We've also got a batch of clotted peach cream to do as well today to cut, which I made yesterday. So. I really like this. This is super pretty. Okay. So let's cut a few bars up and see how they'll be. position you down somewhat. Hang on a second. There we go. I have coffee. Bear with. Smells gorgeous. It's very floral, very spring-like. I really like this. I'm just going to take the end off. Oh, it's really nice. Oh man, I really like this. It's pretty. And I did have some problems yesterday as well with the lilac because once I put the powder in, it started to thicken up for some reason. I've never had that happen before, but it just really, really started to thicken up. So I couldn't really swirl it properly. I, I did manage to get it on the top and do a bit of a swirl, but yeah. 
I'm impressed with this. Oh my God, I love it. And I love those shreds through the middle. It's really pretty. I wish I'd done this to start the release off, but I just thought that it being, being a floral, it would accelerate too much, but it didn't when I did a test batch and that was a couple of weeks ago. So I thought once I've got some time, I'll do this. And I got time yesterday, so brilliant. I loves it. I've ordered a tank after last week's um, daylight saving sale. I thought if I can make enough from this, I'm going to order it. And I did just about make enough, but I still haven't paid the shipping on it yet. They've got to um, package it up and then quote me for the shipping afterwards. So I've got to wait for all of that. But um, I'll be so happy when that arrives. I like cutting soap by hand, but I can see myself getting a lot busier. So it would just save so much time for me. So I've ordered one and it wasn't cheap for us in the UK to order it was £175. And then I'm waiting for the shipping quote, which I'm guessing is going to be about 50 quid. So. I had 250 as the figure in my head, 250 pounds, but it's going to come in a little bit cheaper than that, which is good, but it's, it's expensive, but you know, something's supposed to last a lifetime, so I'm going to look forward to receiving it soon, hopefully by the end of April I'll have, I'll have it, so these soap cutting videos will be a bit different, <laughs> that's nice. It won't focus very well again because I've got this on the lesser quality to upload it faster. And this recipe is a blend of coconut and palm and rapeseed oil with additional organic unrefined shea. Shea butter. God, this smells so pretty. I can't tell you. It's going to need to cure for about two weeks. I did a water discount in this as well. That was brave with a floral, but it, I knew it wasn't going to accelerate too much. In fact, the base, the white, didn't accelerate at all. It was only the purple that went a bit. But even then, it wasn't that bad. So they'll be cured out quicker. So I'd say about two weeks and they'll be available to buy on the website and Etsy I expect. Okay. Let's do a few more. Love those shreds. I should use those again in another soap. I've got an idea for a new one but not using these shreds, but I'm, I want to make a few new ones, really. That is so pretty. It's not picking this up as well as my eye is, but this top bit, it's just gorgeous. I really, really like this. I don't normally bang on about things that much, but I'm really, really happy with it. This looks like a soap that someone else has made. It doesn't look like one of mine. And it just randomly came to me yesterday. I didn't think about how I was going to do it at first. I was just going to do like a white with a purple swirl. But then I thought, nah, it needs a bit more for spring. We really want, you know, I want some sort of it to actually look like a party or flowers or springtime because this is when we celebrate the most. And I, oh, I just love it. I've worked out a way to get a lot more space on the um, curing shelf as well now so I can get three batches on one shelf by standing them up on their side so I'll show you that in a second and I'll show you how dark the new kaffir went from last week So 
a really superb recipe, if I do say so myself. I can feel it when I'm cutting through. It feels so smooth and moisturising. I can feel it. Not I've got gloves on, but I can feel the soap feels different because my recipe's changed slightly. So it won't always stay like this. It's just at the moment I've got a big vat of rapeseed oil, so I'm using it up. But it is actually a really, really good recipe. Wish this camera would pick up more, but it just won't. I've been thinking about other people's um, soap curing rooms. When I see um, pictures online of curing space and things like that and I see that a lot of people don't actually cut their soaps into bars to cure them, they just leave them in logs and I'm wondering if you do use a tank then does that, you know, is that going to damage the tank or, or what? Because you're supposed to cut, as far as I've read, like pretty soon after you've made it. So if you're using a tank and you're using it on hard bars, won't that damage the strings? Somebody tell me. It's just I see so many people just have all these piles of soap logs lined up and I'm thinking, I wonder if they just leave them like that or, you know, whether they cut them. And I'm, I'm just not sure. So, <laughs> fill me in. Maybe some people... I don't know, I just don't, I don't get it. But I see stacks and stacks of people's soap racks and they're just logs and not bars, not cut bars. And even if you didn't use a tank, then it would still be quite difficult to cut them because they go so hard. I don't know. Am I being weird? Am I wrong? See, I'd like to have soap logs all lined up because I like the way they look. But I'm thinking when it comes to cut them, surely that's going to be a pain in the ass. So let me know if you do that, if you do have piles of logs of soap. Why? <laughs> I want to know why. Okay, these should be about four and a half to five ounces. I'm going to get my scale. Chiropodist in again, she's always really loud in that room. Yeah. 4.9, this would be a bit smaller, 4.6, 4.6, 4 4.6, oh that's quite cool then, 5.1, it, it obviously depends on whether the peak has gone higher on some pieces. Oh, bit of the sex pistols. I think we'll have a bit of anarchy in the UK if the petrol prices keep going up like they are and the strikes that are supposed to happen are causing everybody to buy petrol willy-nilly. Ridiculous. It's like £1.41 a litre now. So expensive. But, I don't know, I was just, just moaning the other, the other day because I thought 141, once that reaches 150, some of us are barely going to be able to afford to drive anymore. And I know it's happening everywhere, but the UK, ugh. You just can't afford to do anything because they just tax you to the hill. 
and I know it's happening everywhere, I know it is, but Jesus Christ, this friggin' Tory government just have not helped this country at all, at all, it's the same old story, just rich getting richer, poor getting poorer, and I could go on all day but I won't, because some people obviously will be Tories, but I'm not anything, I don't believe in any of them. I think they're all a bunch of cheating, lying, scheming beeps, to be honest. There ain't a one of them, in amongst all of them, who've got anything good to offer. Because they're all in it for their own good. And it makes me sick. So thank God I've got my own company. I mean, I do work for somebody else one day a week, but... Ugh, oh, honestly, honestly, this country's just turned to crap, it makes me want to move, it just makes me want to move away somewhere else, because it's just, it gets worse and worse and worse, and the food cost of everything has just gone up so much, but um, you know, The Tories were supposed to help us get out of recession. How it hasn't happened yet with the amount of tax that they've put on everything and the amount of um, money that they charge for everything, we should have been out of the recession when it started. Because we should have bailed ourselves out by now and I believe that we probably have and they're just, I don't know, the fat cats just keep lying in their pockets. Anyway, let's have a look at the pretty soap. There you go. So this is the promenade and it will be ready in about two weeks. Gorgeous. Me likey. Okay, I'm going to be back and I'm going to cut clotted peach cream and I probably won't ramble about the government. Okay, bye.